Obviously pleased with the two points, uh, two big points we needed to get back in the lead. Um, you know, obviously uh, you saw it that I thought we hung on at the end there. Um, we, we got up 5-1 five, five and uh, gave up uh, two shorthanded goals and gave them momentum, uh, which was disappointing. And then, uh, and then as we were feeling a little bit, I thought we settled down before they got their fourth goal. And then when they got the fourth goal, you know, they continued to uh, come at us. And, uh, we were down to uh, three defensemen. Uh, we lost two in the game. Um, <coughs> we lost, uh, obviously, uh, Gunn got a two-minute minor and then ten minute misconduct. Got a frustration on his own, uh, not directed at the official, but uh, directed at himself. And, um, but you can't hit the glass with a stick. And, um, so we were shorthanded uh, with three defensemen. So I like the resiliency that we show. I like the way we uh, uh, continue to battle all the way through. Um, Obviously, I don't like giving up a, a four-goal lead and holding off, but we'll take the two points, uh, try and uh, recover health-wise, and then um, get ready for a key matchup next weekend against Ben Lee. Yeah, good. Did you know about the condition of the injuries? The last one looked pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, I don't. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll reassess uh, back with our doctors uh, um, in, in Boston uh, tomorrow. And, and the short-handed goals, did you think you guys got a little bit like complacent? You know, you know, I thought um, I didn't. Uh, we've, we've given up short-handed goals this year, as, as if you follow us, you know. But I thought in the first period, we on our power plays, we moved the pucks pretty well and had some chances and created a little momentum for ourselves. Um, you know, Johnny Stevens got caught um, maybe a little nonchalant with the puck, and they jumped him. And uh, we knew they were going to jump us. Hey, they're 5-1. They, they got a short-handed goal against us up at, uh, back at Matthews Arena uh, a week and a half ago. And, then the second, the second short end of goal, we actually had two defensemen out, and we made a bad read at the offensive blue line. Uh, we put 2D out for a reason, so we don't give up another one. And what do you know? We, we did, and uh, we got back, but we didn't, uh, we didn't back check hard enough to, uh, uh, to stop the, the rebound goal. Coach, you talked about the lines tonight. They kind of really deviated from what um, we normally see so far this year. Yeah, well, you know, we, we lost hedges in the first you know, five minutes of the game. Uh, we move the lines around anyways, but then when you lose a center iceman, um, now we're moving some things around. You know, we play our fourth line. We don't always play our fourth line as a unit, right? So we move things around. So now you're, you're, you're further uh, forced into moving more things around. And then and then we had a defenseman, a four, go back and play D there a little bit. Zach Astorich, John Stevens, you know, at certain points just to or, – or be in a position to go out because we only have 3D. So uh, – you know, it's a product of, of the game and, and the injuries that we uh, sustained. Coach, you talked about Kevin Wyatt. That we were saying on the air, we thought he really kind of distributed the puck a little more shots he might have taken last year. This time he made that extra pass, and it resulted in two goals for you guys. Could you, ask, could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, no, he, you know, he, he, he scored one, and, you know, he, he, he had a, a couple points there on assists, and, and he still had some real good chances and looks himself that um, – which is good, and you know, so hey, Kevin's an offensive player. He's gonna, you know, he, he's gonna find the best option out there in and around the net, whether it's him shooting or whether it's him passing it. So, um, you know, we want the puck in his hands, and he made some good things happen with it. Coaching over the bigger picture thing, uh, I'm just so amazed to see you have four freshmen center, only, only one uh, one senior is uh, 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 Is it? Not to be very comfortable to see how, how well you guys are playing in the race, you know, with, with these, with these young, uh, young, young guys. Yeah, uh, no, no doubt. Um, you know, and I don't like talking about our youth, you know, or, because they're hockey players. And when you come back after Christmas, um, your freshman year, you're different. You've, you've got an experience of gone through, going through the league already once. So, so uh, it, you know, it's encouraging because they're all good players. It's encouraging for the future. but. Um, you know, I, I try not to look at class years, and we just look at you know players putting them in a situation where they can make plays, and, and those kids can. And, uh, these experiences that they're going through is going to make them that much more seasoned, which is great. Um, and uh, and I've got sophomores and juniors who are stepping up too in key situations that they might not have been in the last couple of years. So uh, so that's good. But it, yeah, uh, it's nice, and we can look down the road. But hey, you're in a battle right now, and. Um, you know, the opposition doesn't care if you've got freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. They just they're coming at you. And our kids are getting, they are getting some valuable experience.